Hey everyone, I hope you're having a magical day. Today I'm going to be going over all of the live action Disney Princess Build-A-Bears that I have. And I don't have all of the ones in the collection, but I have four here I'd like to show you. Two of which just came out this past weekend for The Little Mermaid. So I'm going to be starting with those two and then going to the other two that I have. And I think I'm going to try to rate whichever has done this the best. So most of you have probably seen me uh, go make these at the Build-A-Bear store on Friday and I was so excited to get these because I hadn't made a bear for a live action princess movie since 2019 uh, with uh, Disney's Aladdin. So for Mulan they didn't have a bear, or, uh, you know, I don't know. But anyways, um, I was so thrilled I got there when they opened and then right after we made the bears I went and seen the movie. So this is the carrying case that they're using now and it actually cost me 25 cents to get this. They used to be free way back in the day. But I guess everything is just more expensive now. So first we're gonna look at Ariel. And I'm shocked that they don't charge you for the certificates. <laughs> Um, actually, that's just a joke. I didn't mean that. But here is her birth certificate. So Ariel, um, she is, uh, what is that? Eight ounces, brown eyes, and her fur is Kelly green. <laughs> and she belongs to me. <laughs> All right, everybody. These boxes are kind of hard to maneuver a little bit. So here is the Ariel bear. Uh, from the Build-A-Bear workshop and I think she shimmers. She looks a lot like the other bears for the other live-action princesses. They're not supposed to look like the character. They're supposed to be like inspired by the character. So she has this like sea green fur collar, those brown eyes. She's got like a, a purple nose and her outfit's very simple. She has her swim shirt that has like some scallop glitter designs in there, some ruffles, and she has her mermaid tail, which is made out of like this glittery material. This was hard to get on here because whenever they ask you what kind of bear you want, do you want soft and squishy or um, like full and firm, I think is what they asked, or, or hard and firm maybe. I said firm because I wanted the bear to be shaped completely out because I wasn't going to be hugging her or anything. She's going to be more of like a a keepsake so I, I think that her fins are a little tight <laughs> hence the back here see there's her little tail <laughs> but uh, the velcro didn't really want to close all the way so Ariel um, her fins are a little tight so her feet say Ariel Disney's the Little Mermaid get that to focus yeah Ariel Disney's Little Mermaid and um, I'm generally happy with this one, but I think there's some princesses that they did a little better, which we'll get to momentarily. So there is Miss Ariel. They have never done a villain before um, with the Disney live action remix. For Aladdin, they did uh, Aladdin and Genie, not a Jafar bear, that'd be funny. But for this movie, they made an Ursula bear. And this Ursula bear seems to be inspired more by animator Ursula a, a bit, but here is her details. She's eight ounces, she has blue eyes, and purple fur. So they all might weigh the same. <laughs> all right, she was harder to get in here because of all the tentacles. Okie dokie. And you have to fix her hair a bit here. Whew, kind of flying everywhere. Anyways, here she is, look at how evil. And the reason I say inspired by the animation is because these eyes look like animated Ursula's eyes. <laughs> but um, of course, Melissa McCarthy kind of looks like that in the new movie too. So it just kind of is both, I guess. So she has an outfit on that has one, two, three, four, five, six tentacles. So she is a squid, not an octopus, as Pat Carroll famously said, the voice of Ursula. 
and this outfit was really easy to get on her. Um, she has a hole for her tail back there, and then there is a Little Mermaid magical shell thing that the Build-A-Bear had, and it has like some pretty stuff on it from the movie, and I thought maybe Ursula could hold that. So them together, I think, make a good pair. I wasn't gonna end up getting Ursula, but whenever the genie and Aladdin came out with Jasmine and I didn't get them, I kind of regret it now because now you can't really find them. <laughs> so I just went ahead and got both while I was there. Her feet also have the same thing, the little mermaid. Um, and it says Ursula. So she's just got her squid tentacles there. <laughs> So I think she's wonderful. And that's the two latest. All right, so let's go back a few years to whenever their boxes looked a little different. So this box and this box, they, they've changed their boxes. This one's more narrow and then this one's more open. So in 2019, this, oh, she's peeking through. <laughs> in 2019, this was their custom box, you know, but I guess now they change them or they make them more affordable. I'm not sure. So she's really just been in her box since 2019, mostly. And <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen her. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so um, she has box hair, but let's take a look at Princess Jasmine's bear from the Aladdin movie in 2019 and she has a little lamp here. <laughs> so let's take a look at her birth certificate. It looks like her, her birth certificate is a little bit more mangled. <laughs> So I made her on April 26, 2019, I think that's what that says, yes. Um, she's 16 inches long, 7 ounces, or she has brown eyes and fuchsia, fuchsia fur, really? I don't know about fuchsia fur, but... <laughs> So it looks like their certificates haven't changed, but I don't know how mine got all crusty. <laughs> but anyway, here's Jasmine. She has like a teal fur and it matches her outfit. And here is the glittery shimmery lamp. She has like a gold eyeshadow, brown eyes, gold nose, and she has her uh, crown that she wears in that movie. And this outfit is just stunning. Like. It's, it's all one piece. Yeah, yeah, it's all one piece. I don't remember building this one and I didn't really take any videos, but it's all one piece and like this all has printing on it. And then her pants are like, like this silky material and she has like these glittered on peacock feathers, which is, I mean, really looks like the, um, the outfit in the movie. And then she has these like heels on like like these jasmine heels and a little pair of paws on the bottom but i just like am astounded by the detail on this one she also had the option of getting a black wig which of course i went for because i think the character would be more recognizable with a black wig but here's jasmine so 2019 two three uh, four years ago <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the pandemic really bothered us. Huh? But um, let's compare these two. I got all these empty boxes in front of me. Oh. Sorry. All right, Ariel and Jasmine. Oh, and one thing I'd like to mention is that Ariel didn't come with a red wig. And I asked the girls at the um, Build a bear if they could order me one and they didn't get one in for this so if I want one I can find one on eBay like from like a reseller so I think I'm gonna have to get Ariel a red wig to go with Jasmine all right so the final build a bear that I have of Disney live-action princesses is from 2017 
And this is back whenever the boxes for these were even bigger. So this box really doesn't look anything like um, the others. And it's much bigger. So let's open her up. All right, so in this box, I have the Belle Bear from the live action Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> she's got some some wild hair going on here. Um, but she's in the, of course, the gown that Belle wears in the live action film. And it's done very, very nice, I think. But she, she's like a honey collar. She's holding a rose. She has gold eyes, a pink nose, and... Um, Oh, here on our prowl it says build a bear. But this brown wig came with her. Um, they had the brown wigs whenever the movie came out and they had the stall in the store. So I think that just made more sense. Um, you can see her little ears peeking through. <laughs> so her dress is really nice. Like it's like glittered and it's all fabric. And oh, here's the back of the dress. Um, I really think it's very pretty. It has like this gold um, embellishings on it from the movie. And then she has her shoes, <laughs> the heels. So it's just interesting to see the, um, the workmanship from then, the first one, to now this, this bear. So, and they do have similar faces. Like, they're just very Disney faces. So, anyways, <clears throat> now that... Oh, I gotta show you this um, certificate. So, I made... Belle on February 4th, 2017. She's 8 ounces, she has gold eyes, cream fur, and she belongs to me. <laughs> oh. So after seeing all four of the ones I have, I probably have to go with Jasmine. I just think she's the nicest one that really just, it just, the execution came through very well. And I know that things kind of vary because you do go in the store and you stuff these and make these your own. So that does vary. But I think in terms of like the product they made for this, it's just really, really nice. And I wish that I would have gotten the genie and Aladdin bears whenever the time, whenever it was time for that. But anyways, um, I digress. <laughs> I'm sure they're for sale somewhere on eBay. I don't want to know how much. <laughs> but anyways, <clears throat> that is all four of my bears. Let me know what you think is the best one and stay tuned for more magical content. All right, have a magical day. <laughs>